What's up to all my YouTube and MySpace family? Um, I don't feel good today. I had a very, very bad night last night because um, I have a little bit of asthma going on. So, um, today I must rant. I must talk to um, all of our mothers, especially mothers of daughters. Um, I was reading Yahoo News today, and it they had research on there that indicated that over half of us are against getting our daughters um, vaccinated against the HPV. Human papillomavirus is a very serious preventable STD and for those of you that don't know one in three sexually active American women have HPV. It, the stats are the same for men but I just wanted to um, to clue you in on some things. If you're not getting your daughter vaccinated, why not? You just because you are able to make sound decisions as to who your sexual partner is going to be, what type of protection you're going to use, doesn't mean that a 15-year-old girl is capable of making those decisions. I have 45-year-old friends who are not capable of making that decisions and that's barring a couple cocktails okay I'm just being real and I'm just being um, living in today I'm living in today I don't live in what we did back in the 70s and the 80s because if you keep it real we were having sex lots of sex um, and I know that's very mind-bending for those of you who are say sanctified filled with the Holy Ghost and that with a mighty burning fire and that um, running off of Jesus but the reality is You've been married 20 years, and your son is 25 years old. We can count, okay? Um, and it just really, no, I'm serious, Tamara. It just, it makes me mad. I don't understand why you're not getting your daughters vaccinated, but let me give you a realistic scenario. Your little Sally, she may not plan on having sex. Most single women don't plan on having sex. Sex is something that happens. Imagine explaining to Sally, she's 14 now, 10 years from now, when the doctors tell her that she has cervical cancer, and you did not bother to even investigate getting her vaccinated against it. Never mind the fact that human papillomavirus can also make you sterile. So even if she grows up the straight and narrow and she just has that sex just that one time, you may be minus grandchildren of your own because you were so in denial for whatever reasons that you weren't able to fathom even thinking about or even putting it anywhere in your brain to get your child vaccinated. It is a shame. Mind you, if this was polio, We'd be running to the doctor. Mumps, measles, rubella, flu, if it was a flu vaccination. But because it has anything to do with sex, we start acting real silly. We don't even do our research. Because we think, am I, am I, I'm, I'm talking to Tamora. She's probably not going to put herself on camera. But anyway, I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> we think that if we get our children vaccinated against HPV, that that gives them the green light to have sex. If they're going to have sex, they're going to have sex with or without the vaccination anyway. Oh, we got, did you hear that quiet? Real quiet. They're going to have sex anyway. Anyway. So, and this is, this particular disease, it's transmittable through skin-to-skin -skin contact. So it doesn't matter if she can have a boatload of condoms. The wrong piece of skin touch the wrong piece of skin, and your daughter's going to have cauliflower hanging off her flaps. Forever. Forever. That sounds really gross, but that's what it looks like. Look it up on the internet. Go to afraidtoask.com. The pictures are there and they are vivid. Please, I am begging you, because you have no idea until you've had to do it, how humiliating and shameful it is to have a conversation with a prospective mate, a prospective partner, or whatever, and have to tell somebody, even your close friends, that you have an incurable STD. Imagine Sally having that conversation at 26 years old with the man that she loves and she has to break it down and tell him because honesty is the best policy. 
that she has an incurable disease that may mean that he may catch that disease or which may mean that every child that she has has to come out via cesarean section all because you were in denial again just because you're saved sweetie it doesn't mean that your children are going to get saved the instant you get saved you live righteously before them but hey don't be so heavenly minded until you are no earthly good did I just say something right there again deep wonder hello you you I'm talking to you it is not that serious go take your daughter to the doctor and get her a shot if it were polio you three. would do it if it was the chicken if it was a cold only three shots. It's only if, it, shot. if it was a cold I would go get my child vaccinated against the cold a disease is a disease and please don't, please don't send me no emails about the wages of sin is death because you know what? You probably have HPV yourself. If one in three Americans has it, the church is only a reflection of society. Trust me, one third of your church has HPV. That's mind blowing. Hey, how about 80% of adult Americans have some sort of herpes? Now you're going to tell me you in the 20% of the herpes, the people that don't have herpes and you're in the two-thirds of the people that don't have HPV, you are lying to yourself. Why do, you, why, why, why do you think you get pap smears when you go to the doctor? Hmm. It's not just to see what's up there, sweetie. It's to check for HPV, yeah. which is 99% of the reason why women are victims of cervical cancer. That's right. Now, let's roll back to, so we roll back to Sally. Roll back to Sally. Imagine Sally with no hair teeth falling out because she has to take radiation because she has cervical cancer because you won't go get her treated and hysterectomy yes. isn't that quaint no at 19 no I know someone that went through it sweetie the baby is 19 years old all her hair fell out half her teeth fell out she lost all sorts of weight had a total hysterectomy can you imagine menopausing at 19 I know somebody who went through that at 19 Go take your daughter to the doctor and stop being a deep wonder. Okay. I think I'm done ranting. By all means, please comment back. I want to see you do it. Thanks.